in the previous video, I introduced you to petals, which is a way to run any LLM on any device. This is the start of the new era of distributed LLMs, where instead of hosting a large language model solely on your own single machine, after spending a lot of dollars on your powerful GPU, you can simply use a small portion of LLM by hosting it on your own machine and then just running it in parallel with a lot of other computers. This creates a massively distributed AI network, which enables everyone on the globe to reap the benefits of artificial intelligence. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Google Colab to get started with petals. On your screen, I already have this Google Colab from the GitHub repo of this project, and I will share the link in video's description. And let me show you how easy it is to get started with it. The first step which we need to do is to simply git clone and install the petals library from their GitHub repository. Let me run it, and then run anyway. And it is going to install it. So let's wait for it to finish. While it finishes, you can see that it says that it this machine, this Google Colab machine, will download a small part of the model weights and rely on other computers in the network to run the rest of the model. So we are not downloading the whole stuff. We are just doing a portion of it, which is the whole idea be behind this Colab. Once that's finished, then we will go ahead and then we will do the next phase of text generation. So I'm just waiting for it to finish. Okay, the installation is finished. Now what we are going to do, we are going to create a very simple distribute, distributed model and we will use it to generate text. For this example, in this collab, we are using this Llama 65B. You can also use Bloom 176 billion parameter. All you need to do is that here in this code, you need to change the model name. Uh, but for this, let's go with the Llama 65B. And also again, remember that we are all only using portion of it. So all you need to do is to go in and then run this code. Let me click the play button. And then it is going in after importing the torch transformer and other libraries. It is going to um, create the model and then we will use it. And as you can see that the model name is here in this code. It is Llama 65, uh, 65B. If you want to use Bloom, just set the model name to bit size slash bloom. It is downloading and installing it. Let's wait for it to finish. Okay, so it was very quick and finished within few seconds. Now let's run this test, which is given on their side. And what we are doing it, we are just giving a call to the petal swarm. And then the speed it, the generation speed is around three to four tokens per second for Llama 65B, which is very quick. So let's wait for it to finish. And as you can see, it is going to the swarm and then finding the um, particular server. So let's wait for it to finish. Okay, as you can see that after trying various servers, eventually it found one and then it has return us this result. And let's try out one more sentence. This time I have simply changed the sentence to from cat to frog, and let's see what it does now. So again, the same process, it is going to the swarm, and then it is finding the proper server and then it will return me. Okay, so as you can see, how quick was it? It has just returned me simply very quickly within split seconds that does. The reason is that I'm not using any local one machine. It is just going distributedly. One last point is that right now it is using public swarm. If you have um, private data, which you don't want to share with the network, you can even create your own, your own private swarm. So this is how cool this is. In the subsequent videos, I'm going to also install it locally. So I will create a local client of metals and then I will join the network and then we'll see how it goes. I hope that you like the content. If you uh, do, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.